Hello, I'm Bill LeMay and thank you for watching Community Matters. We hope you'll continue to watch as we discuss issues facing our community and provide you with the resources and information needed to find solutions. When hormone levels drop or become unbalanced in men and women, it has an impact on your health and well-being. Dr. Greg Brannon, who is the medical director and owner of Optimal Bio in Cary, believes there's a treatment to help patients reach their optimal hormonal balance for the whole body and receive great results. Unfortunately for us, he's with us today. And welcome, Dr. Brannon. Thank it's good you, to Bill. see you. I appreciate well, it. Just to be upfront about this, I know you quite well, and in fact, I'm a patient of yours, but I want the audience to get to know you as well. Let's start at the very beginning. Uh, please introduce yourself to the audience, who you are, your medical background, like, because I think it's important. Um, my name is Greg Brannon. Um, I've been at ob for about 34 years. I came to the area in 92 as a clinical professor at UNC Chapel Hill, Wake, May, uh, Wake Ahead, and um, do an ob and we have it a private practice. Wow, we started that practice in October of 93, and I've been doing that since then. But I um, sort of stumbled into bioidentical hormones. I've, I'm, as an OBGYN, I'm an expert in women's hormones. Um, but the bioidentical versus synthetic was something I really did not see until about 10, 12 years ago. Well, let's talk about that because I know this story. Uh, you're a man who really is uh, heavily into research and understanding everything that you do. So when we got into bioidentical hormones, where did you first hear about it and what changed your mind? I happened to be, in my practice, I started talking, hearing women talk about certain complaints. That's a side note, but I had to do a radio show with the Bill LeMay, <laughs> and this is around uh, 10, about 10, 11 years ago. And Bill, you were sitting in a chair moving like this. And I asked you why, and you said, well, I get these bioidentical hormones called pellets, and they're in this, and it's a little irritated when I'm placing it. I go, they're gonna kill you. Yes. And you said, really? And you challenged me. And I said, I think so. And then you started me on a journey, about 18 month journey of doing the, the peer review scientific journal studies of what the difference between synthetic and bioidentical, and was I blown away. So you changed your position on it, and in fact, so much so, you've opened up uh, Optimal Bio, yes, sir. which is very successful. So let's talk about this, because for the viewers, I mean, if you're sitting on the couch right now and you just can't get moving, or you, you have what you have in your life that you just have um, reconciled to believe that this is normal, I, 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 this is really important. When we're talking about hormones, what exactly are we talking about, and how do those hormones impact our bodies? Hormones are messengers, it's how cells talk to other cells. You cannot believe, you, you are normal. We are normal in these complaints. I don't want to be normal. Just because something is common doesn't make it normal. We're looking for optimal. So you talk about Bill, I'm looking for the root cause. If you are a Ferrari and you could armor all the tires, wax the thing, get the paint look inside, do make sure the interior is fantastic, but you can't drive without gasoline. What are hormones? They're gasoline. So for an individual out there who uh, has low hormone levels, and this is for men and women, what can they expect to feel like? Because I, 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 a lot of people would just call that, well, you're getting old, bro. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I like that. You know, it's, it's the number one complaint, both men and women, regardless of age, tired of being tired. So what are hormones? They talk. So if you have a hormone in your thyroid called thyroid hormone, and it goes down, we replace it. You have a very important thyroid in your pancreas, uh, a hormone in your pancreas called insulin. When that goes down, we replace it. But if you have gonadal hormone depletion, we call that normal. But what about the sequelae of that? And here's the thing, Bill. When a hormone level goes down, you feel them in symptoms. Uh, motivation, anxiety, depression, belly fat, not the way it used to be. Those, ah, that's part of aging. It isn't, it isn't. What happens is, when we can replenish those, we get those, those energies back. That's why these ranges bother me. These ranges are what normal are. The ranges has changed over time. Again, you got me on this path. What was the range 50 years ago, 30 years ago? Why is it different than today? There was some time to talk about that in the future. But again, there's sequel, there's, there's, when you have your car, you could drive it until the tires got out of alignment, till the, till the tires go flat, till the transmission fluid messes up, and the, oil, and the, and the engine seizes. 
but rotate your tires every 3,000 miles, change your oil every 3,000 miles, and that's what we do. We keep these fuels going so that you could have health span and longevity. All right, now, and I think this is important too, if you're sitting watching this today, what can a patient of yours expect if they go through, and for instance, whether it's a man or a woman, each have different symptoms and they have the same on, on some levels, what can they expect? First off is individualized personal evaluation. Everybody's a human. I don't like these ranges. I don't like this idea of this quintile or this, you're, you're, we're, we're all special human beings. So I like to look back at the root cause, when the symptoms started, what's going on with those, and put together a little, a, a, a story of your story. And then we look at the symptoms. The symptoms will lead me to looking at what organ system is not being optimal, right? right. Then we order, now we know what lab test order. And then I go over the ranges of what normal was 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago, and where these numbers come from today, and talk to you why we're lower today. That's what I do. It's individualized personal care. Now, well, let, I want to talk a little bit about that. I want to get too, uh, too scientific about this, but I think it's important because normal has changed over time. Yes, sir. And I want to know why. Why does that change? What was good 50 years ago, why is that no longer considered good today? And, and, that, and that's important, Bill. And it is a little nerdy, but the brain talks to these, the hypothalamus pituitary talk to these organs that make these hormones, and they're these feedback loops. So what happens is understand what these things do, like testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, they're anabolic. They make things grow, and they're necessary. Without them, you get belly fat, increased diabetes, increased cardiovascular disease. The, the things we worry about are actually enhanced by lower values. Okay, so they're, they're actually in, you know, they're inhibited by proper values. Hold that thought, okay. because we're gonna come back and talk a little bit more about this, and uh, also, you know, what you can do to actually bring those levels up, and uh, we'll talk about the safety and all kinds of other things. I mean, this is, this literally will change your life. So, you stay right where we are, and we'll tell you all about how supplements can help you achieve your balance when we come back. <music>